welcome to another lab note session in this session we are going to discuss either channel what is either channel either channel is a link aggregation technology which helps us to bundle more than one physical link to create one logical links what it means it it means we can bundle more than one physical link to create a logical links like let's say you have more than uh, one physical links like let's like keep it three cables or four cables you have connected between the switches so you can uh, logically you can create as a single bundle so you can bundle it together that is what either channel does so what are the benefits we have in by using uh, either channel so ideally if you have more than one physical cable connected between the switches like let's say in this scenario two cables are connected so uh, you will be able to use only one physical link because other port will be blocked logically blocked by spanning tree to avoid layer two loops so uh, there is no point apart from having a physical redundancy between the switches we don't have much use it just stays there as a redundant physical link so when your primary trunk link fails then only the blocked port will moves to forwarding with uh, normal convergence like uh, it's uh, ideally 30 to 50 seconds so uh, what if we can use both the links so we have multiple benefits uh, if you are using either channel we can utilize these two links like physically there are two links but with the help of either channel we can create we can bundle it as a one logical ethernet link so uh, that is one benefit and it do it does load balancing like uh, let's say uh, you have a data transfer ongoing from host a to host b so uh, ideally use a one gig link and uh, at the same time parallelly you are getting one more data transfer so what either channel does is it's it's having a hashing algorithm so it allocates to allocates to another uh, ethernet link so I, in that scenario you will the load will be balanced and fault tolerance like uh, let's say your active link is failed so with the minimum convergence you can uh, have uh, the uplink always available so these are the benefit we have by using either channel then how it is working either channel allows multiple physical ethernet links to combine into one logical channel yeah it's bundling it so the maximum uh, physical links we can bundle is eight and uh, uh, how it is working yeah it is having a uh, hashing algorithm which decide like uh, uh, how much data should like which data flow should go to which link so if let's say you have eight physical links connected and uh, you have bundled into one logical link with help of either channel so uh, like uh, your data transfer eight data transfer will be distributed on each links first data transfer it will be go into this port and second one next port like that so if you have seven port and then again accordingly it will change the ratio so this is this is the table which uh, hashing does like this is the format hashing follows and what are the criteria to form a either channel there are some criteria should match so the port like uh, let's say in one switch you are configuring either channel so other side of the next switch neighboring switch uh, that port also should match all these criteria like it should have a duplex like uh, uh, same duplex and same speed even your neighboring port also should match all these things so the duplex should be the same speed should be same uh, same VLAN configuration like uh, uh, it should have a same if it is a access port it should have a same access VLAN or if it is a trunk port it should have a same allowed VLANs then the mode switch port mode should be the same like if you are conferring a, uh, either channel uh, port should be same either access or trunk you cannot configure one side access and other port is uh, trunk like that and what are the types of either channel 
the major versions are layer 2 and layer 3 so layer 2 either channels are used for between uh, la layer 2 links and layer 3 is in there will be ip address so layer 3 for we use for layer 3 distribution and all so layer 2 mostly you will find layer 2 only but even there are some uh, scenarios you will you have to use layer 3 then protocol and port types there are three variants static port aggregation protocol link aggregation control protocol static have a single uh, mode like uh, which is on and uh, there is no negotiation if you use uh, static then port aggregation protocol pack p we call so that is like cisco proprietary and uh, it actually invented by kalpana one company called kalpana in 1990s then cisco acquired that company then link aggregation is lacp which is uh, ieee standard and uh, let's talk about mode yeah static got only one mode which is on and uh, pack p got uh, desirable and auto and uh, lacp got active and passive so these are the modes while configuring that we need to specify all these modes so uh, what are these modes uh, the first one static one is on which means enable either channel only so it just blindly enable either channel no negotiation just won't check anything much it just enable it don't check the protocol or nothing like that so uh, desirable one which is actually pack p uh so what which means enable pack p unconditionally which means if you are enabling in uh, one port it won't check it won't check the other side like it will directly enable pack p what is auto like uh, in one port you are configuring auto so it checks the neighboring port also enable pack p only if a pack p device is detected which is mean which means uh, uh, it checks for the other side it will try to negotiate then what is active active enable lacp unconditionally yeah, which is similar like uh, uh, desirable uh, so in open standard i triple which is unconditionally enable lacp so it won't negotiate much then passive enable lacp only if lacp device is detected so uh, if you are enabling uh, lacp passive it checks the other side also so we'll try to negotiate these are the difference so uh, desirable and active they are aggressive like they just go on straight enable if it's a pack p then you have to use desirable uh, if it's lacp then you have to use active then there are few pack p conditions should match if you are we have already discussed uh pack p requires that all ports in the channel belongs to same vlan or are configured as a trunk port what it means is the vlans should match like if you are configuring a port let's say even if it is a access port or trunk port the vlans should be the same like uh, you are bundling uh, like port 1 and port 2 so it should match the vlan so this is what it means and second point when a bundle already exists and a vlan or port is modified all ports in the bundle are modified to match the vlan which means already a port channel exists and you are making some changes you are changing the vlan it can be access or uh, trunk you are removing one vlan or you are adding one vlan like that so make sure you have uh, modified on both the ports like uh, the pair also you should take care of that so uh, the best practice is to uh, treat uh, make any changes in the port channel then next port next point is pack p does not group ports that are operate at different speed or port duplex yeah as we discussed it's a criteria the uh, speed and duplex should match pack p modes are off auto desirable and on yeah off means no pack p enabled auto uh, it checks for the neighboring port and uh, if you are configuring desirable it uh, it won't check the neighboring port it directly enable uh, pack p 
unconditionally it enables and if you're using on that means uh, statically you're setting on no and there is no no question isn't there only the combination of auto desirable 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 and on on allows the formation of a channel which means you can use either auto one side and other side desirable or desirable one side and uh, desirable other side or you can use both side on these are the format we, we can uh, configure so if you are configuring auto and auto no it won't work so please understand that and maximum eight ethernet link can be bundled so this is the number uh, came because of that hashing uh, format so it it is a pretty good number we can have then these are the configuration so if you want to configure static go to global configuration mode interface range always use in range command because so we can avoid lot of misconfiguration in the pair ports so use range command and channel group one and that number it's okay if any if it is different but always bet best practice is to keep the same number so you can avoid confusion then uh, mode on that is static then if you want to configure pack p then interface range command use it then go to um, interface mode then channel group one mode desirable or auto you can use then uh, lscp same co global configuration mode interface range giga ethernet uh, whatever the interface you can call then channel group one mode active or passive so the main thing is you need to understand what are these modes that is very important so uh, you need to keep uh, what i do is always i go for either desirable or active uh, so you should know uh, what are these modes this is very important and a few other configurations are like uh, uh, load balancing thing like it checks for uh, source mac address or ip address and destination mac or destination ip address but load balancing configuration you should use only when you have the right understanding about the data flow which is happening in your network otherwise don't do that uh, even without that you can easily load balance these things so these are the show commands but before going to that we can have a small lap let's check so this is the lab which i created uh, i'm using three switches and uh, three pcs pc0 pc1 and pc2 uh, what is the strategy we are going to configure static in this area life leftmost area and uh, lacp on rightmost area and uh, pack p on downwards so switch zero is the sender switch switch one for the static which is sitting on leftmost switch uh, two on downward and lacp is configured on switch three and i have connected three pcs just for verification and this is the neighbor cdp neighbor uh, result uh, which i collected from switch zero so let's configure either channel I'll start from switch one for static. Configure terminal interface range. Switch one is connected to fast Ethernet zero slash uh, one and two. I'm going to configure static so channel. channel group one mode on okay so switch one configuration is done you can see that red amber light because it's a calculating spanning tree and before that i should have showed you that you see this 
uh, other port links this amber ones are blocked ports so i'll show you in switch server show spanning tree you see this port is blocked so like that let's configure switch zero configure terminal interface range first ethernet zero slash one two two here also same range and channel group one mode what are the modes on yep that's it you see this went to right now it's amber let's check the port status spanning tree see this we got port channel one now before one and two and then so even though it was in forwarding state now we got port channel and it was in listening state now it went to forwarding state so we have configured static one let's configure the remaining ones so let's go to switch two and here we are going to configure pack p cisco prepared configure terminal interfaces are for switch 2 from switch 2 0 slash 192 yeah interface first name 0 slash sorry interface range first name 0 slash 122 channel group i'll use 2 because it's a second port channel for me mode so here the mode comes we we have to configure pack p so for pack p either we can configure auto or desirable so uh, what i prefer is uh, since it's um this side i'll simply configure auto actually i can configure desirable also Span entry just to show you. Okay, here we came back to switch zero interface range fast Ethernet zero slash uh, three to four channel group. I'll use to mode other side I have configured auto so even if I configure auto here it will not come up so I have to prefer desirable either both shirt should be desirable or I have to use uh, um, desirable and auto otherwise I can go for desirable and auto like that It's still amber. Now my second port channel is in forwarding state. And did you notice one thing? This is uh, the cost is changed. Yeah, because we have more bandwidth now. That is why. Let's configure the remaining one. terminal interface range first in that zero slash one to two range one to two channel group I'll use three mode yeah 
this is IEEE standard LACP we need to configure so uh, I'll use which one should use active that's it then configure the other portal configure terminal interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 5 to 6 I'll use three mode active so we are done with the configurations either channel configuration let's try to ping see this is still red should come up yeah went to amber show spanning tree yeah now we have three port channel in switch zero okay let's try to ping right now i'm in pc zero the pc zero's ip address is 10.2.10.10 and uh, i'm going to reach pc one which is connected to switch two. So ten dot two dot ten dot eleven. Yep, I can reach. So my ports are fine. Then let me try to reach PC two. Thing still some convergence is ongoing should come up happening here show either channel summary yeah so show either channel summary is the command to check status so port 1 s means it's a layer 2 yeah In uppercase s means stands for layer 2 and u u stands for in use and uh, here you can find the interface status p means yeah in port channel so if you find d means which is which may be down so you can use these flags to troubleshoot if you face any issue um, yeah let's check the pc reachability i'm going to reach pc1 10 dot 2.10.10 yes i can reach so from pc3 pc2 i'm trying to reach pc0 so the connectivity is there so then we can as i said the few show commands you can use um, show either channel summary This will give you a summarized information about port channels which you have configured and show you the channel mm, details. It will be, should be data order. Um, port channel, you can specify port channel. Okay, see this is the detailed information you can have. Which is showing what are the member ports all these things and you can check uh, show pack p i think in this ios it's not there okay so these are the show commands you can use in ios 
शो पोर्ट चैनल पोर्ट चैनल समरी शो पोर्ट चैनल डिटेल्स एंड शो पैक पी काउंटर्स शो पैक पी नेबर्स शो एल एस सी पी काउंटर्स शो एल एस सी पी नेबर्स एंड शो चैनल हैश ऑल्सो यू कैन चेक इवन यू कैन चेक शो इधर चैनल पोर्ट चैनल लोड बैलेंसिंग ऑल्सो सो दैट्स इट सो थैंक यू सो मच आई होप यू गॉट लिटिल आइडिया अबाउट इधर चैनल एंड दिस अ प्रिटी कूल टेक्नोलॉजी वी कैन यूज इट एंड आई सजेस्ट एवरी वन मस्ट practice this and uh, you can like in real scenario practically everywhere you may find you have to use it because physically either net uh, uh, redundancy we must have a redundancy so uh, we prefer to co- connect more than one cable so always so we should bundle it and you know always should go for either channel wherever it's possible and uh, there are the variants like multi chassis the channel and all which is coming in nexus and all so yeah it's a important topic we must know thank you so much see you in uh, next video thank you